Hey everyone, Meowcity here, welcome back. Today we're continuing on our cowardice run, seeing how far we can get into this, hopefully getting a little farther to the mountain. Last time we had a little bit of bad luck with all the relationship stuff, so we're going to see about catching some of that before heading into the full tier and seeing if we can get some better trinkets for the group, hopefully getting some of the better stuff for Valkyra's Blight Chance light damage and duration and maybe some light chance on hit stuff. So we'll see about that, but first I want to see about fixing some of the relationship stuff that happened last time because we had some very bad luck with the eggs if you remember that. We bought a lot of stuff that has the potential of raising it, so we'll see about that. I also bought some stuff that has the chance of removing negative works. So I think I want to use that on Para because of the Yips and Resolute. So we got rid of the Yips, which means she can't be blinded. Also really tempted to use one of those on Dismiss to try to get rid of those, but I think I'm going to use the Songbook of Touching Dirges. And then on Para again, get rid of the two stress there. So we're also going to buy those mop buckets Something to ease the rigors and the calming the incense. Alright, there we go. That's a lot better. And then we're going to take a look at these relationships and see just how bad things are still. Para and Baristan, Para and Dismas are still not friendly with each other. Try to fix that. And Kerr and Dismas are good. Her and Bera are kind of okay. She won't drink, so that's a problem. But I can get him and Baristan. Well done. Up by one, down by two. Alright, so that's that. Then we can go to the Mastery Trainer. This time around, things are a little different. So, open vein. And because we only have two, we're gonna go with Encore so we don't have the weakening. And then we're gonna head to the floor tier. Oh, are these actually gonna be good? While the heart still beats, desire will never die. Crushing somehow heals Dismas. Highway Robbery somehow removes damage over time on Baristan. I'm not sure how that works. Anyway, Fading to Black heals Dismas. Dismas is getting a lot of healing here. And we will want to go to a lair. But also any creature dens that we can if possible. And abhorrent. There are a lot of academic shrines or academic studies here. So let's see what we can do. I've never been to the thing in the corner, but it looks like I'm going to have to skip that to go to the lair. Then we can, from the lair, go to the vintage collection, the familiar desk, and we can go to a Oblivion's Ingress, which will be amazing unless we get a lot more baubles, in which case we will be going to the hoarder. Assistance, creature den. All right, that's an amazing path. So we do have to... Oh wait. Resistance encounter. Alright. Chaos must be met with unwavering resolve. Towering feast. Never gonna get over the look of these things. And I guess he's the only one who wants to fight. They were all hastened. This could be bad. Price of pride paying off. Steady yourself. Alright, so... Looks like Dismas will not be going first for that bonus. But, can we do this? 8 to 15, he has 32 health. No, we are not. Thunderclap grenade, though. Why not? Let 
I forgot to switch those out. We'll have to do that after this fight. Complete them, because we have the piercing. Then gonna encore to do that again on them. Retributioning to get most attacks going at him. I think that's the better plan. And then, I think, let's get rid of the one with the crit. Because we have the extra turn to do that. Opening a vein on him. Light him. So he'll get four. That means he has 11 left. Seven left. And he's gonna go before we have a chance to do too much. So that means we gotta hit him now. An opportunity squandered. Ouch. He dies on her next turn. He dies. Okay. I was Another gonna say on his next turn, but it's not his back. With impunity. He's now. Gotta heal Baristan. Well, that works. Uh, we're gonna point blank. If she's dying now, we might as well do this. He's gonna light and wait out. Inspiring tune to get rid of stress. And might as well get rid of him now. She goes down, it's a win. I'll take it. We are the flame, burning brightly for all the world to see. The loathing whispers. Alright. See how we do at the lair. I really want to see what the thing in the corner is, but <laughs> passage along this stretch. A welcome reprieve. Alright. Let's do Steal this. yourself. The hulking horror inside will not fall easily. I forgot to change everything again. The landowner's manner. Do you hear? Not that magnesium rain cries? is going to help too much on the actual boss, but it would help if it's getting there. So let's take the lady out. Point blanking on the livestock. Oh, he got moved back in place. Nice. And moved one too far. Just looks wrong. All right, we are. Bolster's not going to do anything. What's retribution? Slicing off on the lady, taking her out. Just leaving livestock that can't be eaten now. Since I don't want Sarmenti any further up, we're going to. Open vein on the one that's already comboed. He's gonna bleed out. And baiting the blind. Healing Dismiss that little bit that he didn't really need to be. We're going to get rid of the blight on Baristan so he doesn't hurt anymore. One down, Baristan goes. And kills the other, I suppose. Alright. Advancing, of course. Once again, this thing just looks wrong. Point blank, killing livestock. That way this thing can't eat it too much. Or, you know, she can. Retribution, so they go at him. We are going to blight the lady. 
surprised she resisted it, to be honest. Let's inspiring tune to get stressed down while we can, because the next fight I'm not going to be able to. We're going to Duelist Advance, just getting the repulse back up. He just puke. Gross. Crushing the lady. Lighting again. She should go down now. Now we're going to... I think Slice Off will be our better option for damaging him, especially over time and putting the ball in our bolt token on him. Point Blank is going to hit a corpse, so we're going to open Vein. Then going to Noxious Blast. Ooh, that resisted. Let's Inspiring to get more stress down. It's gonna do what it's gonna do anyway, so. Giving it Bonk, Healing Dismiss. Uh, just killing one of the corpses, or trying to. Encoring so we can de stress. Just that little bit helps, you know. Like grenading, putting it in Death's Door. And giving it a good bomb. We're in a good place now. Not really seeing anything too much that I wanted here, which is kind of disappointing. Kitchen knives are good for if it's blighted, because we are going to be blighting. Then Bear Sun gets extra crit gain on crit heal. The inventory slots are better than what we have now, so I mean it's somewhat. The harvest is here. Pity those with a place at the table. Oof. Thunderclap Grenade trying to put him farther up, which is exactly what we did. Three for three. Yeah, we're gonna try to bleed him. That's gonna do more damage over time, which this is gonna be. If we have to eat. We are then going to slice off, putting this bleed on him and the vulnerability if we can. She's gonna move forward, which is fine. Noxious blasting, lighting him. Taking ten around. End. It's going to move forward a little bit. Let's go ahead and put that on Dismas for now. And we're going to Retribution. Dismas is actually going to just open, try to open Vein, putting the bleed on him, but guess not. An opportunity. Squandered. Both of them have that. Let's do this so we can get more blight. And there goes Sarmenti. I'm gonna lose three turns. A master stroke. At least he's taking 18 damage around right now. And getting attack back. He is a huge hit. This is no time to falter. Does not look like I need to heal, so we're gonna blight for more. Poison Pride activates, that's good. So Menti's actually gonna get to keep his turn at least. He's blinded, so this probably won't hit. Oh, I'm actually surprised the crit too. Of course he cackles about that. Since we're row two, we don't do less damage, and he's fallen, so we're gonna take a chance. Nope. Okay.
retribution. Just taking that chance on when he attacks. Fading to black, hitting Dismas back in range. As directed. I think we have this in the bag, so I'm not gonna heal, not just blasting. One more hit, and it's probably gone. There we go. A little close on health there, but no one technically went to death, so which is good. Got a bunch of stuff I'm not keenest about, but we can make do with some of it. What do I have on there, Stan again? The loathing abates. Okay, we can definitely switch that out for that and Hera, I think what we can do is give her a little more resistance piercing with that. I definitely want the academic study. In the or the vintage collection, the rather. Ahead. They were both academic study. <laughs> Life skin can do a little bit of a job here. Point blank, will be killing him. We need to de stress, so we're gonna do that. Para's gonna put the blade out. We are going to de stress our mentee. Duelist advance on the widow. Then we're going to blight the urchin. Well done. He should die on his turn now. Stumbling and stupefied. Let's hold the line. One down. And then go at her. Actually. We can leverage this to get stressed down a little bit more. So if this doesn't crit, she should be bladed. Then the inspiring coon. Thought he had a uh, thing for stress down, but he didn't. But as long as Bear Sun did, it's a little bit at least. Then she's down. He went. Variable result. That's something. Reprieve. Until the next relics and baubles, not much, but I'll take it. I don't think I need the strange wines now, but I will take the combat item, which is the blood, if I remember correctly. In crisis, no gain is in which can be very good. Then we have the familiar desk. It is low indeed. After this After battle, this battle which hopefully shouldn't be too hard. Probably can get him. On to the next. In a back row, hopefully getting the dog. Got a good swipe at him too, which is always good. Dog goes on its next turn, so I don't have to worry about that. We're going to de-stress a little bit. And retribution. Dog goes dismiss. We're going to open vein on the big guy. Going to encore so we can blight him again. I 
really need to remember to switch this stuff. <laughs> Actually, let's heal up. Bolstering, because we can't hit him. The and there he goes. Can make all the difference. Greater threats await those who dare. Not much from that one either. And before I forget, again. So, disorienting blast off, magnesium rain on, the whole reason we have that other skill. Or trinket, not skill. And. Another study. Get a trinket, or we can get books, and I think that's relics. Relics are not baubles that I want, so we will take this. Amidst the spoil, which is the Busker's Hall for Sarmenti. Power. Random ally on turn end. So that could be good, that could be bad. I think that's part of the reason I had a lot of trouble at the end, because I wasn't paying attention to the fact that I had under 25 and then you can get really good things if I go to the ingress I know that or there's probably a good chance that if I go to the hoarder I can buy one if not two good things for the build I want the hoarders are a lot more common I think and then there's the hospital after. So let's go to the ingress. And gamble with that. Because I've got like rat skulls and things like that out of the ingress they before emptied I their think. larders, forging themselves as the world began to crumble. Oh, we can debuff them. We will definitely do that. All right. Interesting not to see an altar in here or a uh, clearing color. So first things first, let's start bleeding. Burning them. Wow, only got one of them. <laughs> It is for a while though, so that can build up retribution so they all go up there, Stan. I'm actually going to Encore while they're not having a dodge token on them. So we can play a grenade and start getting them down faster, then I will start de-stressing. Get one down. Steady yourself. We're gonna bleed this one for more. He's stressing like I said because he is super high. Magnesium rain clearing the corpse trying to burn the rest. Which did not happen. He's stressing again. Now he's slightly okay. <laughs> Cherub dies on its next turn, so we can focus on these two. Specifically, since he has so much damage over time, we're gonna go on this other one. Opening a vein on him. We are going to knock this blast. Putting more damage over time on him. Retribution. Tax spot there, stun again. I think they have to buff themselves again with how they work, but maybe not. 
Running in vain. Good old critical. Dissection. An unavoidable end. Oof. Let's go with him since he's a little more dangerous. What death store? He's gonna put himself at death door. Attack bears down, get the attack back while we're killing him. Another impediment. Cleared we're with going impunity. to heal. This wound, at least, has been tended. And then, because we need to de-stress. And before he gets another turn, with Wicked Slice. Messy. But effective. And what we get. Cut down these Mastery, at least. And Raven's Reach. Not what I was hoping for, but, you know, it's something. Probably would have been better off going to the Hoarder on that one. Okay. Now, probably want to get rid of the disease. And there's a few quirks we should probably get rid of. So the disease is like minus 15% health, I think. But undertake that nonetheless. Yeah, 15% max health. We're getting rid of that. We can suffer no sickness on this pilgrimage. Technically like to get rid of both of these. Nervous I would like to get rid of. And resolute I would like to get rid of. All in all, that's almost all of my relics. I think that's worth it though. Even the worst habits can be overcome. And then we should be good. Oh, didn't realize she sold this stuff. Yeah, let's buy the compress kit. So if I get the motor and pestle at any point, that's good. And it also just stacks with the life skin. So he we get healed for 20% more instead of 10%. Once we equip it, at least. They're all very burnable, <laughs> which is a very horrible thing to say. Well done. Twenty-five percent max health on the guy who is a freaking tank. I right, so encoring so we can just do massive amounts of damage here. Make these in rain. Malaise. Then we're gonna plague grenade. Retribution, so with Hex, go up Barristan. I suppose even Barristan looks like a toy to him. Although his arms are thicker. Opening a vein again. What? I'm assuming he's gonna go down fairly quickly, so Magnesium Rain burning. A slow dissection. Let's An give uh, him a good old crush. He's gonna die, leaving these two. Oof. He's down, leaving this big guy. We're gonna slice off. Actually, let's heal Dismiss a bit. And then Dismiss can open the vein, bring the door. The fiend's strength dwindles. Getting rid of that stuff. Crushing to heal Dismas even more. And that's that. A little bit of management, but I think it pays off. Oh, we're overburdened. Imagine that. Let's just get rid of... We can actually put this on Dismas and I think we can toss Hastening History. Yeah. Some of that stuff I'm just keeping around, or uh, if we don't find anything better, I can switch stuff around. The closer we get to the end. Uh, okay, armor, flame, avoid. 
combat item. Let's get the armor. That way uh, we don't have to repair and waste our relics, our baubles. Combat item could have been good, but we're already kind of full on inventory and uh, we already got some pretty good ones like the blood, so not sure what else they would give us that's useful that we'd be looking for at least. Feature den. This is definitely going to set us over the limit. Like fight, fight, leave. We're not leaving. Two dogs, two eaters. Not bad. Unless they do things like that. Alright, magnesium rain. Burning everything we can, which is literally everything. Not bad. We do want to get the eaters first so they don't evolve, so we'll work on that. Baristan will retribution. Let's then slice off on him. Damage over time. He should die on his turn, I believe. That should pull him in range, I hope. Alright, awesome. Jismis can then uh, point blank. I thought that would kill this one, to be honest. One down. We're going to play grenade, back row, blighting these two. Then gonna encore. So we can do the magnesium rain. Destroying the corpse, burning these three. Strategic withdrawal, putting Dismas back into range. Also comboing, death blow, and that should be death blow on the other two. Steady subtraction, an invariable this should result. heal Dismas for that little bit. Righteous action. Leading the Devourer. Going to Blight the Devourer. And actually, we're just going to de-stress while we can. From this carousel of horrors. Right, continuing that, leading him. Taking 10 around, he's got 17 health, so it's effectively got 7 health, and then death door. Retribution, so things go at him. Razor Wit, getting him in range. Next turn he goes to death door, probably dies. Well, next turn he probably dies. <laughs> Haste and carelessness. Alright, we are going to the unprepared. It's back row blight. Alright, that killed it. One awesome. less obstacle in our path. Just gotta deal with these dogs now, which can be a problem because how often they get that dodge. Take a chance on the point blank. Encore, so we can hit a lot of them with uh, magnesium. At least got one, got rid of dodges on the other. Let's start working on him, because he's got a little damage going on him. Then, lighting, because we can. He's going to die eventually now, just got to work on this one. So, dual advance. Back, very nice. He dies on his next turn. He's got a little damage going on him. I know it's not enough to kill. One more down. So we just gotta work on this one now. So let's magnesium rain again, getting rid of the corpse, burn, trying to burn him, and putting him in range for Dismas. Fade to black, healing Dismas again. It dies in two turns, no matter what. So, there we go. Other dog should die. The work and we can 
continue the is done with travel. In this weighty gloom, a spark. And three party stress. I'm surprised we didn't get a mastery point for the that. Loathing abates. Uh, you know what? I don't like losing the speed for that, so we can get rid of that. And smoke bomb. Actually, no, not smoke bomb. Uh, smoke soak linen can go away. And here's another battle. <laughs> Watch, this actually gives me something, because I'm now full on space. They're frenzied, so they're going to do more damage. I'll still try to point blank kill one of them, which is always funny. To finish this Retribution, so they go up there, it's done. We are going to slice off, trying to just bleed and damage him. Just going to go for a quicker kill. die on his next turn, meaning just focus on this guy. I am going to heal. Just pretty big. We are going to just wipe him off the map. Be stressing because we can. And Baristan can give him a good whack. Let's heal. Sarmenti. He dies, we win. Okay. Sweet reprieve. Until the next test is put before you. And then next is our rampart, and then we're at the end. This should be interesting. No one here really does range damage except for Sarment, or not Sarmenti, Hera. And most of hers is damage over time, too, so. <laughs> Let's bleed him. I know it's not going to do too much, but. Alright, then Retribution. Actually going to magnesium rain since I know that he's going to survive for a little bit. They're all trapped in those spots, so I'm going to try to slice off on the cherub. Since Dismas is not moving, we're going to open vein trying to get the lead. That's the only damage he's gonna do. Back row blight. Now the cherub should die on its turn. This is no to bolter. Uh slice off, try to get the Bishop? Deacon. Since we can't do retribution, let's de-stress. I figured that was coming. We're gonna go for the plague grenade again, so we can do more damage to the altar. Since he can move now, duelist advance. We'll do a bit more damage now. Trammeled, trapped, held captive by fear. Inspiring Kuhn to get stressed down. Strategic withdrawal to put a combo on him. Bleeding him. That thing dies on its next turn. to heal. Yeah, let's let's go for the heals. And then retribution so they go up Baristan. We won't go Baristan next time. Well encore so we can heal Baristan with 16. Relief comes rarely in these times. Savor it. Altar down, just leaving the deacon. We are going to open vein on. Let's 
Yeah, let's just blade him, getting damage on him. And we're gonna really need to de-stress here, so one on Hera. A simple kindness. And then de-stressing. Compassion. Aristan. Howling mind. Leading him for more with open vein. The enemy weakens and wanes. We're going to re yeah retribution again because we want those attacks going at him. Then going to heal him. I don't care that relationship goes down. We're then going to slice off, getting more bleeding and damage on him. And a vulnerable, it's always good. In vain, putting him to death store. Hopefully, this kills him. All right. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Jealous Whisper, I can see the use of. Won't be using Strange Sapper. And then we have the end right up here, which we can recover at. Looks like a lot of stress from that fight, to be honest. Which we do have the uh, thing from the creature den, which is mine's stress. Also a mastery point. Slugger on Sarmenti, which is Chance to stun, also more crit. Cultophobic on Baristan is not the greatest. Hard skin on Dismas is always good. We'll always take hard skin. Also more mastery points, so everyone is a lot better on stress than they were at. It's great. And what's our roots look like? In Shroud or the Tangle? Really? Well, it, that is what it is. I was really really hoping to get either Sprawl again or have a chance at the Sluice, but that doesn't look like it's going to be a thing. So I think we're going to have to take our chances with the Shroud and hope to get some bleeding equipment, and then it'll be the Mountain. So we'll have to see what happens and if we can get the Mountain boss down, if we can even get there. So that's it for this time, and we'll see what next episode has in store for us. So as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time, and please have a good one.